Oh my God, this is so freaking cute. Do you see this? Oh my goodness. So this is the print cut feature. So are you wondering what else you can do other than making t-shirts using the print cut feature? Let me tell you, you can do all sorts of things with your print cut feature. This episode, we are going to make stickers. So we are in the month of February, so we're gonna make some Black History Month stickers, but of course you can use this for any type of sticker that you wanna make. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do the thing. Let's do it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is talk about a few of the different. For those of you who don't know, Canva is an app that you can download for free and use for free. There is a paid option that right now at the recording of this video is $12.99 a month. So I have the paid version just because I love it so well and you can do so many different things with it, but you can definitely start off with the free version. If you would like to use Canva, please look in the description below for a link to give you a discount. Okay, so here we are on the home page of Canva. Um, as you can see, there are several things that you can do, docs, whiteboards, presentations, social media, videos. So you have a lot to work from. But for this particular project, we're just going to hit over here in the top right hand corner, create a design. And I'm just going to go to custom size and then just do it an eight and a half by 11 inches. From here, you have several things on the side of this menu. And this is the left side of your screen. So right now you can choose elements, uploads, text, projects, photos, backgrounds, logos, and there are apps. So right now we're going to hit elements and then we're just going to put in brings us. So as you can see, there are several different, um, um, different topics here. You have graphics, you have photos, you have videos, and you have some audio. So we want the graphics. So under beside graphics, I'm going to select see all. And from here, then we have several different options to choose from. So in this case, we're just going to select the hand here. And from there, we're going to add some text. So I am going to type in here. So I'm going to go down and back to this menu, hit um, text. I'm going to hit add at heading. And you can do this several different ways. You can look through some of the pre-heading um, mixtures that they have here. But I am just going to again stick with the add a heading and then i'm going to type in living my so now that i have this and we're going to spell it correctly now so i typed in living my ancestors dreams i am just going to stretch it out a little bit here just by doing that so down here i can either turn it if i want it to and it gives you the degrees to help you get back to zero or I can move it just by clicking on that. So I moved it, of course. Um, you can also change the font to a whole bunch of different types of font here. Um, I think there is a Kwanzaa font. Me... So I just typed in Living the Dream as my title of this first page. And now I'm going to delete this because, of course, I don't want the same one. And from here, I'm going to go back. Got to go to Elements. So we're going to go to elements here and from there I see these graphics down here. So I'm going to see, see all to these. Um, and from here, there's several different ones again that I can choose from. So here I am going to, okay. So for this one, I'm going to pick some maracas here or I'll add in these two men here. So with this one, I'm going to make that a little bit smaller again. My stickers, if they're about two inches, that's um, pretty good for me. So right here, I am going to add some text in this time. Let's just choose this one. So here, I'm going to change the text to say celebrate. And then we're going to take this one off. So with this one, let me just click on that again. See how I can just 
throw that in the trash by doing that. So there's everybody together, and then I'm just gonna make it smaller. So I'm gonna make this a three, um, three inches by one inch. So that would be my second sticker there. And so for this one, I'm just gonna put um black here. Okay, I just realized I was not recording. So let me kind of go back over some things just so that you guys can see it again <laughs> or see it for the first time because I don't know where it stopped recording. So again, if you wanted to download these items, what you would do is you would click share. From here, you would click download. From there, you could hit transparency if you have the paid version. And then, like I said, if you have, you can click the pages and you can see because we named them, the stickers will be named when they download to your computer. So from there, you could click done and then you would click download. Because I just downloaded them um, and it didn't record, I'm not gonna click download again. But what I will show you is now, these are now downloaded into my drive or my folder. And now I have both of these here. So now we're going to look at our Cricut Design Space space and upload these items. So for Cricut Design Space, you're gonna go to new project, unless you already have a project made, you're gonna go to new project. So we're gonna click new project, don't worry. Ugh! So I just have to say this since it's here. Cricut is making all kinds of updates. Sometimes it's frustrating <laughs> when you're making a video and you wanna to go to the next thing. But just so you know, like they're always working on the product. So you can come to your, your Cricut design space and it could be, it can ask you something like this. You just hit that update now and then it's going to take you out, but it will bring you back into um, your design space. So now that it has finished this update, the next thing that we're gonna do, just like in Canva, there's a menu bar down the left side of the Canva design space, or there's a menu bar down the left side of Cricut design space. So we're gonna go to the next to the bottom item, which says upload. And as you can see, I've done a few um, of the black history stickers already but we're going to select this button right here which says upload image and from here you can drag and drop so we already have them where they're ready so we're going to go ahead and drag and drop this first one we'll get this out of the way and so from here we're going to make it complex i just if anything has a lot of color in it i just like to make it complex and so from there, we've already taken the background away in Canva, but if you do not have the paid version, you could take the background away here where you would just click on remove background. But since ours is already removed, we're just gonna hit apply and continue. And from here, this either could be a sticker where you can have a silhouette of the guys, or you can make it a print and cut. So we're gonna make it a print and cut today, and then we're going to hit upload. Now, if you had a whole bunch of these going in, you could name them. Let's go ahead really quickly and do the second one. So again, I am going to click on upload. I am going to drag in my second sticker here. I'm going to hit complex definitely on this one with all the different things that's going on with it. I'm going to hit continue. Um, if I needed to remove the background, I would click this button, but we do not need to do that this time. So I'm going to hit apply and continue here. I am going to hit, um, print and cut. And then here's where you could put in tags. If you wanted to like put in hand, African hand or anything like that, you could put that in. You can also, now I've started creating collections. You can also create it and have it go into the collection. Um, so you could do that as well, and then you would hit upload. So from here, now we have these two items ready to go. So I'm gonna select them both, and you know that they're selected by the green box that is around them, and then they're also down here. So if I decided I didn't want one, I could click on it again, and it will take it away where you see there's only one down here, 
or I can click on it down here and it would take it away as well. So either way removes it if it's something you really don't want. Um, but we want both of these. So we're going to go ahead and add those to the canvas. And then it always brings, if you click more than one thing, it always brings it in together. Just click off of it, click back on it. And then there you have your two different pieces. So from here, um, I just like to check the size because for some reason, even though I made it two inches in Canva, it is now four inches, um, four by three inches here and three by one and 1.8 inches here. So we're going to just make it to the size that we want it to be. So again, I want this hand to be about a two inch circle because I have some two inch circles um, that I could possibly use although we're going to use some of our pretty fancy paper. And here we have um, three inches or 3.4 inches by one. I think I'm okay with that. When you populate these in, your next step would be to put a background behind them. So you can either do that one of two ways. You can do that by using the offset up here at the top and you would just hit apply and then you can change that black background to a white background and then you can select both pieces. You see that it is a print and cut so you're going to attach and then you're going to flatten. And so that gives you where it's just going to cut around the square and it's not going to cut everything. Um, so we can do that same thing. You can do this, like I said, one of two ways. You can do it where it's easy and you do it by the offset. But you could also just pull in a circle, make that circle white. I don't know why you would do this now that they've made the other thing so easy, but just to show you a different way to do it. So we're going to um, make that circle big enough. I'm going to arrange it to the back. And then that way I have my um, circle here and we're just going to kind of make it the way that we want it as far as getting it all even. And you can even align this center um, and you can align it horizontal. Or look, there's just a center button here. So that way it's center. I don't like how it doesn't look like it's the same arch because of how condensed I have my words going around that hand. So I actually don't like that, but this would be another way that you could do it. So you could do that. Then you would select both pieces. You would hit attach. You would hit flatten. But because I don't like that, I don't like how that looks. I'm going to get rid of this um, and then I am going to go back to offset and I'm going to apply. I'm going to hit and make that white and then I'm going to select both pieces, attach and flat. Now we have our square at the size that it will allow you to put print and cut items. We're going to make that white I'm just going to arrange it where I send it to the back so that way I can see that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start duplicating my two stickers. I'm going to try um, four here and see if we can do four of each just to see if they will fit. So this just kind of allows, gives you a little guideline of whether or not what you're trying to do will work. Um, so like this one. Let's go, if you go outside, so you see what I did here, it could change the size, but if I go right outside, it allows me to twist it. So I'm gonna see if twisting it gives me more options here, and then that way I can do this. And it looks like I can only do three. Hmm. So we're going to, we're going to try all four just because I'm curious. <laughs> so as you can see, it made more than one sheet here and it made a square for the um, square. So of course you're not going to print that one. 
On this one, I'm going to try to move these. So I'm going to hit move object and I'm going to select the first mat. And it typically, when you do that, it puts it on top of the, it puts it on top of your mat already. So let's see, let's twist this around like we did when we had it on the canvas. And then just like with, let's see, just like with the canvas, this is just how many we can get. So we can't get any more, I don't think. Yeah, that will cut over the other one. So that's pretty much what we can do. So this one, I'm just gonna hit hide so it's not looking to do that. And I'm gonna hit hide on this one. So um, as you can see, I'm hitting the three ellipses and then I'm just hitting hide, select, and then that way those two mats, they won't even attempt to try anything. So from here, I'm gonna hit continue. And then the next thing it's asking is, to, if I want to send it to the printer. So I do want to send it to the printer for the sake of us doing these stickers. I'm going to send it to the printer and send it to the printer using white sticker paper. So we'll try a couple of these just to see how they turn out. So we're going to start with our white sticker paper and we're going to send it to the printer so when we hit send to the printer we get this um um box up where we're going to make sure we have our right printer um you can have plead on and off uh for this particular sticker we don't need anything to kind of bleed over so i'm just going to cut the bleed off and then we're going to hit um print and it's going to send it to my printer. So just so you guys can see, I use my regular printer, my HP printer, it's an inkjet printer. It has to go to the printer. It can't just, Cricut will not print it on the Cricut. It has to go to a printer and then it, the Cricut will cut it out. So once you have everything printed, your next step is to set your base material. So as you can see here, I have a couple of different things that are in my presets, my bookmark items that I um, use. And then you can also see that there are some popular items that you can choose from. But in either case, we do not have what I need. So we're going to hit browse all materials here in design space. And then you can either go down and search through these are um, set up in categories. So you have your art bar, art board, your card stock fabric and it'll continue on or you can just put in which is what i typically do just put in one word um, that you think may hit what you need so i'm hitting in sticker i'm putting in sticker um, and then i'm hitting return and then here are the three different type of sticker results so i'm starting with my clear sticker and i'm not going to show you this over and over again so i'll come back and do the others. Um, when I get to the hologram, I'm probably going to use hologram vinyl just because it's a little bit thicker of a sticker and it typically takes longer as well as with the glitter. So I'm going to use um, one of the glitter vinyl options instead of the sticker paper so that hopefully it cuts it quicker because sometimes you have to do more than one cut if not. So from here, I select the sticker paper that I want. I hit done. And from there, just because I've been having some issues with them cutting the, all the way through the way that I want them to, I'm gonna go from default to more, and then it's automatically ready to go to the printer. Okay, fam, so I printed this out on four different types of sticker paper. We have our white sticker paper here. We have holographic sticker paper here. We have the white glitter sticker paper here. And for some reason, the white glitter sticker paper, and I don't know if this is every pack, but this pack, every corner has a little bit of a faded edge. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but that's our white glitter sticker paper. And then we also did a clear sticker paper. So from this point, you can see that my Cricut Maker has a blinking light here. That's the arrow saying that it's ready to pull my mat in. So if I click on that arrow, there it is, pull the mat in. 
And now the Cricut is going to um, wait for me to hit my Cricut button. So once I hit that, then the Cricut will go into um, finding out where everything is on that sticker paper. So you see there's a light that came on. It's locating this black bar that's around it, which is why you have that limitation of 6.75 by 9.5 so that it has room for that bar so that it can then locate what it needs to locate um, and then cut that image out. So we're going to let it locate where the images are and then we're gonna let it go ahead and cut those images out. So once it locates where everything is, it checks to make sure the correct blade is in, and then it starts its cut. So as you can see, because we put that um, offset around it, it is cutting out the offset area, and then it will go to the next item. So as I said, I don't typically let you guys watch the whole cutting process because who wants to watch that? <laughs> so I will be back when the cutting is done. Cuteness is done. We have done the thing. So we have some here that are cut. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get that focus in there. Mm, yes. So those are the white ones, those are the glitter ones, got a little shine, got a little shine. So um, like I said, that is that simple, it's that easy. So we've learned how to print and cut on t-shirts, we've learned how to print and cut on um, sticker paper, and so we're also going to learn how to print and cut on printable vinyl. So we will do that next, but until the next time, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, and as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you all the next time.